I, I love hockey. It's uh, something that keeps my mind separate place from the research and from the science. In order to be successful in science, you have to know uh, where the play is going to go. You have to know what the next wave of, of scientific advances, uh, what areas those are going to be in. Uh, my lab here at UBC actually does a lot of different things now. Uh, we've got projects uh, related to uh, diabetes. We've got projects related to heart disease. We're sort of a generally all over the map physiology lab. One of the most important things to me is to train the next generation of scientists. I really encourage the postdoctoral fellows in my lab. We bounce ideas back and forth all the time. But what we don't have at UBC is that five, six, seven, eight hundred year old history. The uh, Killam Award for the sabbatical, uh, one of the things that it allows me to do as a, as a professor is to go to a place where really the new state of the art is being developed in an area that maybe we're not as strong at at UBC. And it's, I think, a little bit like anticipating the play. I'll be moving to Oxford with my family. Uh, my wife, Sarah Walshaw, is an archaeologist. She'll be sinking her teeth into some really cool archaeology over there. My daughter, Danica, is uh, eight years old. She's nervous about going to a new place, but uh, it's going to be fun for her too. One of the things that we are known for is something called high throughput imaging. The folks in Oxford are very interested in me to come over there and help establish some of these techniques, some of the high throughput imaging techniques that we're good at over in their lab. And the Killam Award will allow me to refresh my skills and learn from some of the best uh, people in the field. I'd like to play hockey in Oxford. It'd be a way to uh, keep connected to my Canadian roots. I'll play hockey there. I'm looking forward to it.